Only one thing sends more shivers down the spines of school-age children's parents than head lice, and that is mutant head lice. Research from 2014 of lice samples from the US and Canada showed almost all of the insects, 99.6%, had developed gene mutations making them resistant to common over-the-counter lice shampoos. Point one such shampoos often contain the toxic pesticide permethrin, which should not be placed anywhere near a child's scalp due to the health risks alone. But now it appears the chemicals will no longer be very effective either. The researchers from the above mentioned study conducted another study this year that was presented at the American Chemical Society meeting in August. They sampled lice from 30 states and found lice from 25 of them carried the resistance genes. In California, Florida, Maine, and Minnesota, every insect sampled was resistant. The problem with resistance was first detected in the 1990s and has been growing since. As CNN reported to the insecticides in these products are supposed to work by getting into the nerve cells of lice and changing the cell's chemistry in a way that leads to muscle paralysis and eventually death. However, there are lice that randomly have mutations in genes that make them less susceptible to these insecticides, said Richard Pollack, a public health entomologist at Harvard University. It is not clear how, but it could be that these genetic changes cause insect nerve cells to take up less insecticide or to pump more of it out of the cells. When these insecticides are used a lot, the naturally resistant, probably rare, lice have a survival advantage. Just like how bacterial populations can become resistant to antibiotics, these lice take over the population, Pollock said. The study was funded by pharmaceutical company Sanofi, which owns Clyde's Lotion, a newer generation lice fighting product that contains the anti-parasitic drug ivermectin and may cost up to $200 plus the doctor's visit for a prescription. But although these newer products will be touted as the solution to the mutant head lice, it's likely only a matter of time before they develop resistance to the newer chemicals too. CNN noted 3 there may be lice that harbor some level of resistance to these newer products and they would eventually take over the population if the other products became widely used, Pollock said. I do expect that we will see resistance to any product with the exception perhaps of combing and heat and smothering the lice, Pollock said. There's really no reason to apply newer toxic pesticides to your child's head. Many will find a combination of coconut oil and manual removal to be quite effective, but you can also try. Deatomaceous earth is made from tiny fossilized water plants called diadems. The diadems are ground up to make a fine, chalky powder that's rich in minerals and toxic to insects. It works because it absorbs fats from the insect's protective outer coating, drying them out and killing them.
Various devices that blow hot air are available to help kill head lice. One such device, the louse buster, killed nearly 100% of lice eggs and 80% of hatched lice. And even when operated at a comfortable temperature, it's slightly cooler than a standard blow dryer. 0.15 The Louse Buster is sold to nurses, schools, and hospitals, as well as so called lice salons that specialize in non toxic lice removal. 0.16 According to the journal Pediatric 17, our findings demonstrate that one 30 minute application of hot air has the potential to eradicate head lice infestations. In summary, hot air is an effective, safe treatment and one to which lice are unlikely to evolve resistance. However, if you do not have access to a louse buster, your next best option is to use a regular hair dryer. According to a study published in the journal American Family Physician, hair dryers have a 47.2% success rate in eradicating lice and a 47.5% success rate in decreasing egg hatch rate. You will need to repeat this method several times to remove the lice completely, though 0.18 a mixture of salt and vinegar can work to dehydrate and, eventually, kill lice on your scalp. Check out these steps in creating a spray mixture 19 Dissolve 1 4th cup of Himalayan salt in 1 4th cup of warm apple cider vinegar. Spray the mixture onto your scalp until it is wet. Allow your scalp to dry and then coat it with a layer of coconut oil. Yeah. Leave the oil for 8 hours and then comb out the dead lice. Wash your hair and scalp to remove the aroma created by the mixture. Head lice is, unfortunately, quite common, affecting 6 million to 12 million US kids every year.20. But if your child gets sent home from school with a case, don't panic and don't rush to the drugstore for toxic lice removal shampoos. By using one or more of the natural methods described above, you should be able to quickly rid your child's hair of lice without the use of dangerous chemicals. And if you're not up for tackling the job yourself, there are many professional lice removal salons that will do it for you, just be sure to choose one that uses only chemical-free methods. Pyrethroid insecticides such as permethrin are the active ingredients in most over-the-counter lice shampoos. Pyrethroids, synthetic chemicals derived from natural chemicals found in chrysanthemums, have risen in popularity over the past decade. There are currently more than 3,500 commercial products containing this insecticide. This includes items like roach sprays, flea bombs, and dog flea tick collars and medicated shampoos. Lice shampoos may also contain pyrethrins, which are botanical insecticides derived from chrysanthemums. Both pyrethroids and pyrethrins have similar chemical structures and act in a similar manner.
According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA for most pyrethrins and some pyrethroid products are formulated with synergists such as piperinol butoxide and MGK-264 to enhance the pesticidal properties of the product. These synergists have no pesticidal effects of their own, but enhance the effectiveness of other chemicals. This is the case with Ridlice Shampoo, which contains 4% piperinol butoxide along with pyrethrum extract equivalent to 0.33% pyrethrins.5 Animal studies suggest pyrethroids cause neurological, immune, and reproductive damage. Canadian research also suggests pyrethroids may be associated with behavior problems in children. The study tested urine samples from 779 Canadian children, aged 6 to 11, and the parents answered questions relating to their child's behavior. Almost all, 97% of the children had pyrethroid breakdown products in their urine. 6 of 10 fold increase in urinary levels of one specific pyrethroid breakdown product doubled the child's risk of scoring high for parent reported behavioral problems, such as inattention and hyperactivity. A previous study also found that toddlers who had been exposed to pyrethroids while in utero had lower development scores compared to unexposed children. According to a 2006 EPA review, animal research has also shown that even low levels of some of these compounds have an adverse effect on sudden some pyrethroids act as endocrine disruptors by mimicking estrogen. Such hormone disrupting chemicals can raise your levels of estrogen, thereby promoting the growth of estrogen sensitive cancers such as breast cancer. And remember, when you apply these chemicals for lice treatment, they go right through your child's scalp and into his or her bloodstream. Worse still, multiple treatments are often recommended to be effective, and now even that is highly questionable. While medicated shampoos are touted as the best way to get rid of head lice, you have to decide whether you really want to slather your child's hair up with pesticides, especially when they may not kill the lice, and there are other effective alternatives. For starters, coat your child's hair in olive oil or coconut oil. This is often said to work by asphyxiating the lice. Although this is controversial. Some research even suggests that depriving lice of oxygen by putting them underwater for 8 hours is not enough to kill them, and one study found applying olive oil did not result in significant lice mortality. 8 coconut oil, on the other hand, appears to be a useful lice treatment option, as it's been found to lead to 80% mortality in head lice after 4 hours. 9 A spray made of coconut and anise was also found to work better at killing head lice than a Permethrin lotion.10 coconut oil, as well as olive oil, is also useful because it lubricates the hair, making it easier to remove lice and eggs. And this is key. Using an extra fine toothed lice comb to manually remove lice and eggs is one of the most effective tools available. 11 You can also remove the insects with your fingers. (laughs) 
In fact, a growing number of nick picker companies have popped up in recent years, which will manually remove lice from your child's hair for a cost of $90 to $250 an hour. Many combine the combing brushing with an oil application to make removal easier, and again this is something you can do yourself at home. You may need to repeat the treatment two or three times to be sure you've removed all newly hatched lice.